Hello everybody, it's Crew Account Keith here. So um, we've had a very eventful few days in Tala since the snow fell, the epic snow, the beast from the east. So the night that I uploaded my video showing the storms from the night previous, uh, I was at home. The reports started coming in on social media of just, just crazy stuff happening. Local tugs stealing uh, plant equipment like uh, excavators and diggers. Uh, they were joyriding them around fields where kids were playing in the snow. Um, one really bad, <laughs> epic story which made world news. Um, my local shopping centre, the little, um, a few tugs stole the excavator, and they tried. They destroyed it. Basically, they were targeting the safe in the shop. Apparently, uh, take a look at the video. Safe after being dragged up the road. Look, fucking hell! Look at that. So, <laughs> pretty crazy. Um, also around the area there was tons of burnt out cars. Um, people were abandoning their cars and tugs were breaking into them, um, damaging them and in a lot of cases just setting them on fire for no reason whatsoever. It's absolutely disgraceful. Uh, there were shops broken into. Take a look at this. This is a local news agent very close to where I live. <laughs> Fucking scumbag. Unbelievable. Um, before the that little shopping center was broken into, it was looted during the day. Um, this video here started circulating on social media. Absolutely shocking and it was a few hours later then that the same store was completely demolished and uh, so as I'm, it was a Friday night when I uploaded my video and I started hearing these reports seeing these videos and you know it's very scary I was feeling very nervous in the house like what's next are they gonna start destroying homes um, but then this video came on the police and the army found it very difficult difficult to get up there but they did uh, capture a lot of the guys that were doing the, the damage take a look yeah! So I seen that video kind of put me at rest that people are being arrested um, but then yesterday when, speaking to the neighbors in the area we told well nothing's gonna happen tonight you know they seen how fast or how quickly the arrests were made surely they're not gonna do anything but no last night was the same my local pub the Killinarden house um, got smashed up people threw hammers through the windows while people were in there having their dinner um, there was a van set on fire and apparently there was some explosions. As far as I know, it was an explosion from the van, but social media erupted last night saying there's, like, there's now explosions, like like a war zone that we're living in. So this morning I went for a walk around to survey the destruction and I swear it's, it was like being in a Mad Max movie. It was like The Purge. Everyone, was, everyone in the area is saying it was like The Purge, that Hollywood movie where for one night a year people go crazy. I swear it really felt like that. Take a look at all of this.
disgraceful. Unbelievable. There must be a ride here now. I'm doing a random act of kindness, just helping this gentleman get some messages and shopping across to the house that's cut off. He's had to park his car, so trying to make this as quick as possible. It's on the road of death he's parked. I'm exhausted after that. That was my good deed for the day. Poor guy had to leave his car here to get some groceries into his wife. He's just terrified about abandoning the car when you look at all this fucking carnage. And I wouldn't blame him. In the distance, we see the familiar little sign. Well, you can see behind me the little is absolutely destroyed. Um, absolute chaos. A disgrace, absolute disgrace for the area. So many jobs lost because of this in this chaos. Madness. All right, I'm gonna take a walk about three, three kilometers away from Little up to my local pub, the Killen Arden Inn. There's another car randomly destroyed. That was abandoned. So the cleanup operation is in full swing. Count chaos about a force, clearing roads and burnt out cars. The chaos. Normally two cars can fit down here, so it's like a standoff between all these cars. Just a common or garden abandoned car, not burnt out or broken into. Happy days. I've had about five cars so far stop and ask if I'm okay, if I need a lift to the big shopping centre. See, Tala is full of really, really nice people. So that's my local pub, the Killen Arden Inn, where tore rags yesterday, threw loads of hammers in, smashed loads of windows while people were in having their dinner. Madness. So I'm pretty sure you'll agree that was pretty disgraceful, the behaviour, what, what happened, it's like society breaking down, law and order is, is gone, the, the snow is falling, police can't get where they need to be and, and just law and order goes to, to shite. But I just want to say as well, I've lived in Tala all my life. I was born here and I was raised here. Uh, I lived away briefly, but I'm back living here for the last 10 years. And I think Tala is a fantastic place. It's a, it's a great place, got a great history, great culture. The name Tala is actually Gaelic for Taumlocht. And the, the full name of the area in Gaelic is Taumlocht Winter Partland, which translated means the play graves of the people of Partland. I know it's ironic. I live in a place called Grave, play graves. But the ancient Partholonian people were meant to have settled here on Tala and they died from a plague. So it's a lot of ancient history here. Um, since making the video and speaking to people, there is the community spirit here is brilliant. There are some great people all around. It just takes one or two pretty bad people to, to bring an area down. So everyone is destroying Tala on social media. We're, we're the butt of everyone's jokes at the moment because of this. And understandably, it's an absolute shameful embarrassment. But Tala is not like that. Tala is the people out clearing the roads today. Um, there was a, a guy had a heart attack in, in a park, local park here. Now, unfortunately, he passed away. 
but everybody in the community was out trying to get the ambulance and fire brigade and all the emergency services up there. They just couldn't. There was just so much snow. But there was hundreds of people out trying to get that ambulance up there. I walked around this morning. Everyone was out clearing neighbours' drives, that type of thing. Everyone was stopping me on the road, asking if I need to get to a shopping centre, if I'm out getting food or this type of thing. There is a great community here and, you know, we will get over this. Um, it, it's, it's opened our eyes, I think, that we can't let this happen. This is just ridiculous. It's like apocalyptic chaos. But um, Tala is a good place, so don't write us off. Bye.